you're sending a model out to a 3D printer, sometimes you may have an object that you want to split apart into different sections, and some of those parts you may want to actually articulate somewhat. For example, if you have a character, you may want the arms to rotate about with some degree of freedom, as well as the legs and maybe the head. Now previously, if you wanted to try and create a joint for an articulating limb like this, it could take a bit of planning and a good deal of work trying to create that. However, in 3D Coat version 4, we now have the splits and joints tool that makes this much easier and much faster to do. I'm going to actually hide the body and you can see I've already done this on the head and I've created a specific spline profile for this joint. And as you can see, it goes in one direction, but it will use these flanges to actually hold this head object in place. Okay, so I could actually turn that off and just use a basic joint. As well as a basic cylinder, parallel piped, or no joint at all. And let me go ahead and unhide the body here. And so what will happen is if I reset the joint, you'll see something like this. You'll get this little patch that's at the origin of the grid, and you can use the gizmo to place it wherever you like. Actually, I'm going to change the angle of this to where it falls between the shoulder and the pectoral muscle. So that looks fine. I can use this little ring here in the middle to move in screen space. Okay, it's out a little bit too far. That looks almost about what I want. Okay. Okay, so again, I can see the joint here. If I want to create a profile, I would click on. Uh, complex joint profile but before I do that you have a number of different options if I did not want this object to articulate but I still needed joints to connect the parts I could use different options here to control the depth the joint width and I could change whether or not I want a radial array a grid array I'll change the the depth and the size just a bit here and I can change the distance between the points let's try 25 that looks fine and obviously when I rotate this I can change the orientation of the joints additionally whenever I choose a grid array rather than a radial array I can extend them along a given direction and increase the number as well And once again, you can change the orientation of that grid array by moving the rotate widget on your gizmo. You also have the option to extend the grid laterally by changing the joints in Y value here to your liking. And again, the overall size, I can bring that down to 10. I can reduce the number. change it to a radial array I have additional joints so basically intermediate joints if I want reduce the overall number here the 
let's go with five. Bring that down to 15. I'm going to change that back to a single joint if I want this to articulate. Bring the joint width up quite a bit. Maybe the depth just a smidge. And let's create a complex joint profile. We're first going to flip this patch so that it's extending the joint into the body and not the arm. And we'll rotate it using the buttons in the tool options panel. We can use the color coding on the widgets to tell us which axis we want to rotate it along. So the red will be the x-axis. The blue tells me I'm going to rotate along the z-axis. And likewise, the green, the y-axis. So obviously I would want to rotate 180 degrees along the x-axis. So I'll just change that 180. There we go. And... I'll create a point along the profile, move it. Okay, I'm going to right click once to create a hard edge if I want. Right click a second time and I'll have a B spline. And I can just continue to right click to cycle between the different point types. Okay, I'll create another point here. Right click once to make that a hard edge. And create a new point here. And if I want to remove a point, I can just hover over it and hit the delete key on the keyboard. Right click once to make a hard edge, right click a second time. Right click once to make that a hard edge. Okay. And you can see how that works. I can create a smaller flange down down the way here. Right click to create a hard point. Right click again to create a hard point here. Create an intermediate point. Right click once to create a hard edge. So if I'm relatively happy with that, I can actually save the curve and load it at any point in time in the future if I want. Edit points it just gives me a table where I can go in and change the different point types here. I can save this entire joint instead of just the profile. So it will memorize all the settings that I have for the tool, whereas this other option just saves this curve profile that's it now um, I think that is about all the different options so I want to make sure I select the layer before I hit apply and I can hit the enter key or just hit apply okay and I can examine it you can see the different parts that it created here and hide the head in the body okay and to conclude this demonstration I want to point out that this is available only in surface mode within the voxel sculpting room of 3d coat so I hope that helps and we'll see you in the next video thank you